What's up guys, welcome to another edition of the Game Inspector. <clears throat> Today we're going to do ABC Monday Night Football. It's finally Season 3. Now this game, I have a lot of great memories playing at my uncle's house. Um, we used to get together as a family back when I was growing up to... Uh, you know, for like Thanksgiving, Christmas, holidays, had some good food. My aunt used to make amazing lasagna, and we used to surf around the TV and play Super Nintendo. So, today we're doing Monday Night Football, APC Monday Night Football, and it's football season. So, let's get it. Alright, as you can see, it has the classic Monday Night Football theme song back when it was on a ABC. I wasn't really watching football back then, but I do now. Um, I like the Packers and the Steelers, and for college, favorite team is Boise State, <laughs> but I like Ohio State and Clemson as well, and there's a bunch of college teams I like to watch. Alright, so, oh, look at that. Was that Brett Favre? <laughs> it definitely looked like the Packers and maybe the Vikings. I don't know. Um, the thing with this game, hey, look, it's the Steelers, my other favorite team. Um, the teams aren't really licensed, so they only go by uh, the location, the city, or the state. <clears throat> you know, back then, I don't think a lot of sports games were fully licensed. Um, not for a while, at least. I think the Super Nintendo did get an official yeah. NFL game, I think. Um, I haven't played it. Actually, yeah, I think Sega and Super Nintendo had Madden. Um, I don't know how that worked with the teams and everything, but I do know back then they had issues with it, with all kinds of sports. Um, so this is the intro video, yeah. just so you get an idea. That's not how the full game is. When you run like a... I think they're like the Blitz plays special plays you get to see that little animation stuff so here we go we got regular season preseason two-player mode ranking playbook other options you can create a team which is pretty cool um these are the teams right now you got the afc and the nfc um and you can see they don't have the official symbols <laughs> um but the colors are pretty similar so that's kind of cool um so of course I'm gonna go over New York, you know, my home state, New York for life. <laughs> and oh, we got England. Uh, I actually played this a couple times before this playthrough, and I got Miami both times, and I thought it'd be pretty funny because, you know, now I'm in Florida to have, you know, New York versus uh, Florida. And the funny thing, too, is every time I did the coin toss, I got tails like every time. Of course, I'm going to receive. It's pretty nice to receive. <laughs> but it's better to give. Alright, let me stop. Alright, so, um, it's funny, you know, the New England team, the supposed Patriots, they look more like Kansas City or the Cardinals. And I'm New York, it's green, so I'm guessing it's more of the Jets. You did notice there's a New York and a New Jersey team. <coughs> I don't know if that was actually a thing. I mean, you know, I do kind of feel like the New York Jets should be the New Jersey Jets. I mean, there's some people actually trying to make that happen. Okay, so as you can see too, you pick plays. You got like, uh, I think it was four or five pass plays, four or five run plays. And yeah, that, mm, yeah. <laughs> um, these, these little animation things are pretty funny when you get an incomplete pass. Me and my sister used to always think those were funny. So yeah, you got uh, four plays, and then you got the two power plays, one run play and pass play. Those are the ones with the animations. Those are usually good if you're on fourth down or if you're extremely close to the goal line. So yeah, another incomplete, incomplete. pass. <laughs> Forget it. I 
for some reason this this gameplay you know is when you get an incomplete pass they won't just say forget it they'll also boo and I always thought that was the funnier one but you will see it later on it, it happens at least once so right now I'm doing um, one of the power plays for a pass um, I know it is playing this before I didn't know this growing up oh man I got intercepted that's crazy but and and look at the computer. Look at the PC. They it's like they have a they're the cheating ass bastard with the turbo controller. You can never catch them. Never. Well, really, if you're closer to the goal line, it, it actually it's not as bad. I remember that. So <laughs> the cheating ass Patriots get the first goal, the first um, touchdown, and everything. It's good. It's all good. Cause I'm gonna make a comeback. <laughs> I'm actually glad I got a little better <laughs> playing it this time. Cause growing up, I wasn't too good at this game, and the controls, you know, take a little while to get used to. It's not as good as Madden. Like I feel like Madden when you throw passes, like mostly any of them. I haven't played a lot. Actually, I, <coughs> I haven't played <coughs> any of the old Maddens. I think the oldest I played was like 02 or 03. And uh, I feel like that the passes are a lot more accurate. It's almost like you know the old school first person shooting games like Goldeneye, where you're shooting and as long as you're kind of pointing in the direction, you're always gonna get the guy. So I got some nice yards here. And of course today's game is not really sponsored by Gatorade, but I think it's funny how they have that in there. Um, just to make it official somewhat, because Obviously, you would have you know, the NFL logo there, you would have the team logos, they didn't do that. Of course, I couldn't. And yeah, I was pretty pissed I missed that pass. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, this is not the worst football game, and I do believe, yeah, this is the first time I'm doing a sports game. And I know to a lot of retro collectors that aren't really sports fans, Sports games are kind of in, eh, but the good thing for sports fans is if you're both a collector and a sports fan that a lot of the older Forget sports it. games, because of the outdated rosters and whatnot, are usually pretty cheap. <laughs> so that's always pretty cool. I mean, I, in New York, I had this in my collection. It wasn't from my uncle. I did try to get his Super Nintendo in the games, but, you know, he sold them, so it sucks. <clears throat> All right, so now we're doing the power run play, and I'm tapping the control like crazy, and nah, no chance. But the good thing I noticed about these plays is that you pretty much get an automatic first down, so that's pretty awesome, because it is really hard. Well, not really hard to get a first down, but there's certain things, like you don't have to be too close to the defensive side, and you know, you can be like inches away, and you still get hit. Even if they're blocking, even if your team is blocking the defense, you're still going to get knocked down. I noticed that a couple times. <clears throat> but I got a first down. And now the crowd is finally cheering. <laughs> but yeah. You know, it's pretty cool. You look around at the, the screen. You know, it's first quarter, first down on the 10-yard line. Gives you a little... <coughs> Details like that, that's always good. Um, yeah. Incomplete. It is a little complicated, you know, I'm gonna have to get used to it for this season because um, I, ever since I came back, I've been using um, a knockoff PS2 controller, USB one for the computer. That's always been my favorite style controller. It's set up a lot like the Super Nintendo controller, and those of you who don't know, uh, Sony and Nintendo were actually going to do the PlayStation in the beginning. So that's why there's a lot of similarities to the PlayStation controller and the Super Nintendo controller because that was actually supposed to be the successor to the Super Nintendo. Look it up if you don't believe me. <clears throat> but Sony went their own route, which I'm pretty glad they did because, you know, I like PlayStation. Um, yeah, let's see. See, look at that. I mean, technically, the guy from the back kind of got me, but it's just funny how he falls like someone hit him from the front. <laughs> you know, just just some lazy, lazy uh, animation and stuff, you know. 
So I'm pretty close. And I've scored a few times in this game in the past. And let's see how I do. Uh, got it. Touchdown. Touchdown. So, pretty awesome. Not a bad game. You know, there was one guy on YouTube that looked like my friend Duffy. Some British guy. And he did a really funny review on this game. Of course, now I can't find it. But if you happen to be watching this, your video was funny as hell. It's, <laughs> it's good. It's all good. Alright, so, yeah. Alright, guys, it was ABC Monday Night Football for Super Nintendo. Not the greatest football game, <clears throat> but I have a lot of good memories playing this game. So, but I'll review it. This season, I'm going to be reviewing a couple games that I grew up playing at my uncle's house, as well as other games. And, you know, Halloween's coming up, so we're going to be having a Halloween special coming up real soon. I've just been busy with work, so yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. As always, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. See you guys next time.